Hi, my name is Matt Glenn. I'm a PE in electrical engineering. I'm going to go over a problem from the NCES practice exam manual for the electrical engineering test. This problem is number 114. The problem is on three phase inverters and motor control. Uh, the question is the following inverter schematic is used for a variable speed motor drive. Assume ideal transistors each transistor operates as an ideal switch peak to peak phase voltage is most nearly and then we've got uh, 336 volts 475 480 or 679 so over here you have a 679 volt supply going into a DC link and then into the inverter to uh, convert the current from uh, one phase DC into uh, three phases of AC power to uh, run that three phase induction motor. So if you look at how this uh, circuit works is that you have a larger controller which is going to turn these transistors on and off in order to activate these phases which will drive the motor. So what this looks like is if you select any of these phases, this is what a uh, three phase uh, square wave uh, will look like. And you draw down the line, you'll see that you'll always have two phases on and one phase off or two phases off and one phase on. Um, so say you select phase A and phase B, and B is the ground, so that would be right here, and C is on, so we'll just do this time period. So that would mean that this transistor turns on, this transistor turns off, this one's off, this one's on, so B gets grounded, and then... C is going to be on, so this transformer turns on. And when you look at that, uh, what that peak to peak difference is between A and B or C and B, you're going to find that it's the full 679 volts. And you can neglect uh, any voltage drop across the transistors in this problem because uh, you're assuming an ideal um, transistor. So I think a lot of people might get caught up on is they'll try to overthink the problem and think that the 679 volt uh, solution to the peak to peak wave is um, too obvious and they won't uh, select that one and they might select the wrong uh, solution even though it's like a really easy problem and one of those quick ones, but you might end up spending way too much time on the problem um, if you don't see what the obvious is of um, and analyze it as a uh, three-phase square wave. So uh, that's it for the video. I plan on making a few more of these videos to uh, go over some of the practice problems.